Hello there! Today, uh, I'm going to be showing you some of my CK2, Crusader Kings 2. Uh, probably my best play so far. Uh, I'm a king of Pomerania here, um, and I'm a part of the Wendish Empire. As you can see, it spans most of Europe. Uh, now, let me let me show you where I am set. I'm the king of Pomerania. Who am I not? At the moment, my name is King Fiafane. Sword of Triglav. Um, my house is Wabrana. It's probably not said like this. Probably like Wabrana. I don't know. I don't speak Polish, but uh, it means Polish for chosen. So yeah, uh, I. I I changed that about. Anyway, now as you see, everything in this sort of green color is my the jewel, uh, the jewel. Yeah, I didn't say the jewel, the jewel uh, kingdom. Now, at the start, I only started off with sort of where my mouse is going around here. Yeah. Basically, uh, east of this river, up to about here. And this is Holstein, and then this is Saxony here, and Brunswick. Uh, those three duchies were not originally mine, a part of Pomerania, but after about 100 years, I managed to uh, get them to do it. Now, this place down here, um, this is my beautiful project I got down here. Uh, now, where is he? He is. It's my one of my relatives gave gave it this uh, title to him really far back. Uh, it's just a duchy in Italy. When eventually I do take Italy, which is only three provinces uh, away from getting conquered, but I'm gonna give him the kingdom of Italy. So you know I'll have a good ally down here. This here I changed it. I think that somewhere. I sort of took parts from Polish and mixed them together. So from that, I got no Italy. So yeah, that's uh, what I'm going with there. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna press and get Italy. And then we'll have a really uh, powerful member of the dynasty in Italy. So what else can I say? Um, we've conquered. Scandinavia, that started a while ago. You might be wondering why this is a bit of a mess here. Now, uh, this guy here, this, this, the uh, Denmark, or Pol, Polnozemi, or whatever it's called it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that place, there, let me just check. Kaza, I don't know why, like, Kaza popped up everywhere for some reason. Like in a bloody island, they popped up and they're just there in Norway. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> that's not the point. Uh, Denmark was a part of us, but I think the king gave him independence. So he's my um, relative here. He's the king of Denmark. But Denmark's not united. We've got uh, D uh, Duke of Skane. We got this random guy here. Uh, I'm not really going to do anything with that. As you can see, they are Slavic, and they're Slavic pagans. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to fight Slavic pagans. Anyway, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> wow, um, Slavic paganism's really big nowadays because uh, I've reformed it. There's the empire. Got all the holy sites. You see here, 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 and up here. Got all the holy sites now. And the high priest is basically the Pope of uh, Pagans, so we've got the Pope, uh, Pope of Pagans with us. Now, I'm glad this guy's a revolting. These, these are Pagans under uh, Azarian rule. K Khazar. Yeah. And they, they're gonna break out. The music in the background is actually Polish folk, so just to set the scene. 
Um, oh yes, yes. Uh, as you can see, the Mongols over here, they come in now. They, they've got a few borders with us, you know, along here. Um, oh yes. Um, every, nearly every uh, country, <laughs> nearly every kingdom has uh, a uh, Vibrana as their, their head of state. So we've got Norway here, or Sneak, Sneak, Mudjusk, whatever. Uh, these are my blood. Sweden I didn't actually. Sweden I just gave to uh, one of my favoured subjects at the time. But his wife, my daughter, so you know. Got good relations there. Finland. Finland was a real pain to take. Really, like, annoying. Because I'd, I'd send about uh, 20 odd thousand troops up there. And they just starved to death, and then uh, the people defending didn't seem to get that problem, so I would just starved to death, and they would beat me. But um, uh, the Wendish Empire, the Emperor, I actually led a holy war up there, so he gave me a foothold to, to uh, expand. Uh, thanks a lot. That was that was a few generations ago. Anyway, um, the, the year is 1279. I started in. 769 or whatever um, the date is, maybe 768. Yeah, I started at the earliest date, so that's why I've expanded a lot. But yeah, we've got pretty strong in Scandinavia. Iceland is held by my son. I conquered that from some Germanic pagans. Is it still Germanic? Nope, I converted it. Right, it's not Germanic anymore, it's Islamic. Right. Me, 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 me. What else can I talk about now? There's a lot to talk about actually. Oh, yeah, we got Perm up here. Perm's a big kingdom now. Rus. No one's the king of Perm apparently. Uh, Rus. Uh, I took Rus. Uh, I, I led an expedition up there against, you know, uh, mainly independent tribes that were quite easy but it took a lot it took a long time due to the um, peace treaties and all that bollocks but I managed to you know battle them into submission um, now the uh, Dijo Empire of the Wendish Empire is much bigger than it started we've got Bohemia uh, added we've got Brunswick Holstein and Saxony too and we also got, I think, Ge no, not Germany. Yeah, Germany, yeah, Germany. So, we got quite a few Dijur kingdoms here. Now, I would say, yeah, we've actually got three empires here in, in our holdings. We've got Scandinavia, yeah, which is basically ours. We've got Britain, British Isles, whatever. Which is entirely ours. So, and oh, Francia. Now, Francia, we conquered Francia. Uh, just Aquitaine sort of holding out. I can't be bothered to go and fight them, to be honest. The Muslims, <laughs> Muslims will probably take them out. I can't wait for that. Like, pagans and Muslims on a big fight. Anyway, um, now I'm going to speak about the West, the Western. Western relatives of mine. Uh, but, so basically, every, every kingdom I've taken over, I put a relative there. Actually, before we go, Bohemia. Uh, no, Bohemia. Bavaria. We got a relative there. Uh, now we got here in Burgundy. Yeah, Burgundy. We got, we got one of our guys. One of our fat kin. Um, here in Middle Francia, we've got. Uh, a relative and in Frisia uh, and, in, and in France here. I'm gonna expand to, to uh, Brittany and put someone there as a king. So we've got a lot of allies now, which w that's what I plan for. So, you know, if any if shit does go to the pan, shit hits the pan, no, the fan, shit hits the fan, we'll have plenty of guys backing us up. Because we got everyone in, every king in, uh, this is my wife. 31 year old king, uh, Queen of England, and I'm like sick of 59. I don't know why I did that, but anyway, she got in here. This, uh, my family. Anyway, I think so. Yeah. Uh, 
Britain is basically mine. We got Welsh King, who's um, my dynasty. Irish, my dynasty. Scottish, my dynasty. Now uh, this bit here, East Anglia, I renamed it. More Polish. Um, not wrong again. Now this is actually um, uh, a de jure of Pomerania. Now this here, I can't remember which one it was. One of these provinces, uh, counties. Um, yeah, I, can't, I conquered it. You know, a few hundred, uh, a couple of years, a uh, hundred years, a couple of hundred years ago. Uh, so that's my like landing point. So I decided to keep that for myself. And then it, ra it raises a mm, okay uh, uh, garrison, a uh, troop from there, levy. And then I can help my buddies in England and, and Wales and stuff if they get in trouble. So that's always good. Anyway, but the Emperor, now the Emperor, this is quite an interesting thing. The Emperor now currently is uh, of my dynasty, but that's only because I put him there. Now, uh, as you can see here, that, that was one of my ancestors. The Emperor, no it wasn't, no. The, one of my ancestors put Emperor Bratislav on the throne. That's what I meant. Now, um, we took it. I took a waged war against uh, one of these guys, the, the Lekowitz family. Because, generations and generations ago, what they actually did, it was an electorate, if you see here. I made the empire an electorate because I didn't want sort of all of the. All of the trouble of running the empire, emperor, uh, yeah, empire, fully. So um, I changed that to a electorate, so I could, you know, raise up a young king, and he'd be old then, and he'd get the em empire, and then he'd go on to someone worthy. Basically, just to make sure the, the empire had a good ruler. Uh, but these bastards took took it to, took it from me. Well, they didn't take it from me, but they got elected, and then uh, they changed the law to um, where it gets inherited to your family. So, yeah, I only, I only just took it back now. Uh, so, it's in my family now, the, em the Empire. Now, what else is there to talk about? Oh, the power of the Empire, though, to speak about. find it. Right, okay, I've got it. As you can see, um, 155,936 troops can be raised um, uh, from from the Wendish Empire as a whole. So, uh, we, out, we outrank the Mongols by a huge amount. We doubled them, triple even, the amount the, the Byzantine Empire has. With double of the Ar Arabian Empire, so biggest empire on the map. No one can really challenge us. Uh, but the, the emperor at the moment seems to not want to expand down here, which I would do. But anyway, it's his choice. Um, no, I think that's about it, really. Can't think of much else. As you say, it's a really big empire. Um, I'm gonna expand down south to Italy. Maybe, maybe I'll close up the gap between us and the Muslims. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. But one of the problems now is uh, I've had this for a few patches actually, and I think the events have stopped actually occurring. So I don't get really any unique events like you're possessed by the devil, which actually did at the beginning. Uh, I did get possessed by the devil, so, when someone got possessed by the devil, at, at the beginning of my play, as the king of uh, Pomerania. So, um, yeah, just wanted to show this to you, and uh, basically I've, I've defeated Christianity, basically. There's b barely any Catholics left, and they're only down here. The Pope's left, I'll take out the Pope one day. Uh, eliminate him. But we got plenty of places to expand. Uh, we got plenty 
of allies to help us. It's quite crazy, actually, the ally situation, because everyone's related, basically, in Europe. Like, most people are related. No, I don't kill him. Uh, most people are related. So, uh, like, this war here now, Bavarian war for County of Leicester, right? This is between the my relative here and my relative in England. And, yeah, it's basically just a fight between relatives here. Uh, Bohemia's not my relative, but um, this guy is, Frisia. Frisia it is. So, you know, it's a big war, like 12,000 men, men armies and 29,000 29, men armies running around and fighting. But anyway, uh, what else can I do? He's a, he's a big army. Oh no, never mind. But anyway, huge armies now. Like, I can raise about, yeah, uh, 50, 50,000 troops. And my vassals love me because I'm such a nice guy. I've got really good stats. Most of my guys are warriors. He's got amazing stats. My, son, my, my uh, six year old son died. Which is a bit shame. My grandson. But yes, I've made him a Russian guy now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I might return to this maybe. I, I wouldn't know what to do. Maybe conquer Italy. Uh, thanks for watching anyway. And, uh, Long live the Wendish Empire.